Yo, what is up guys? Mr. The Reverts here, welcome back to the channel. And ladies and gentlemen, we just now received the roadmap and the trailer for season three reloaded for Warzone Battle Royale. And guys, let me tell you, I honestly think this is gonna be the best season we've had so far within Modern Warfare, Warzone, and Black Ops Cold War. So we're gonna go ahead and dive into all the stuff we're gonna be getting for Warzone. And yeah, let's go ahead and check it all out. So the Season 3 Reloaded event begins on May 19th at 9 o'clock p.m. Pacific Time or May 20th at 12 o'clock a.m. Eastern Time and then at 5 o'clock a.m. UK Time. So a pretty early update we have here. So make sure to get your rest and your sleep in beforehand. And the file size is going to be coming in around 15 gigs for all systems, which honestly isn't too bad at all compared to the other previous updates. Uh, so yeah, we can make this work. I feel like 15 gigs is, you know, still not, not, not the best, but still not the worst compared to what we've had so yeah we can work with this but now guys we also have a two new operators which are featured in the poster for season three reloaded which are john mcclain and then rambo and one thing to note about these two new operators is they're not skins for previously released operators like these are actual brand new call of duty operators within the game so yeah i really really love this a whole lot here and not only have they arrived to verdance but they've also brought some of the new iconic locations from their movies with them the the first new location is going to be the headquarters of the Nakatomi Corporation, which is going to be replacing the downtown area for a limited time. It's not going to be permanent, just a limited time. And this is the tallest single structure seen in Warzone, and it includes five floors of a space that will be familiar to those who know and love the original Die Hard. But in addition to replacing the broadcast tower and the surrounding blocks that normally define downtown Southern District, the Nakatomi Plaza features multiple optional missions that can be completed during a battle royale and plunder for items to use both in game and for your profile and this includes exploring the tower for supply boxes diffusing c4 on the tower's roof and interrupting an arms deal gone wrong so i absolutely love the idea of this little like mini challenges to complete for in-game items and then also stuff for your profile it's kind of similar to the rebirth challenges or maybe the halloween event and the other previous events we've had um but yeah this this time we have a bit more i guess you know, interaction with the map and the game itself, which is very, very cool. Apparently, there's also a vault that we can successfully crack in the Nakatomi Plaza, and we could escape with its riches. Now, I'm not sure what's inside of that vault or how to crack it, but um, yeah, it also says here, but be forewarned that you won't be the only operator looking for the keys to the vault. Now, what kind of makes me like think this is, it's kind of something like the zombie event where you had to activate the trial machines, all the zombies would spawn. I don't know, maybe something like that is gonna happen where a bunch of AI are gonna come running at you I don't know but definitely it does sound very very cool and I'm gonna be checking that out on the very first day and now another new point of interest are the survival camps and around Verdansk numerous campsites have been converted into the survival camps as a homage to Rambo first blood part 2 now if you find any of these 10 caps across the map you could walk onto some very good loot items or the dog tags of comrades who fell long before your arrival but if you collect them and you will even be able to upgrade to to a greater reward. I'm not sure what that reward may be, but yeah, guys, if you kill somebody around these camps, it seems like they're gonna drop some tags, you collect them, and if you get a certain amount of them, then you will get a really good reward item. And finally, we have the CIA outpost, which is one of the hangars in Verdansk Northwest Sector that's been converted into a makeshift CIA outpost, as these agents need a home base to start tracking down the elusive Rambo. So those are all the new point of interest that we have on the war zone, but again, guys, the these are not like gonna be permanent. They're kind of just little changes towards some of the locations that we already have. They're not entirely brand new locations, but they have been, I guess, refurbished to kind of fit the theme for, you know, the 80s movies that we have for season three reloaded. So very, very cool. And I cannot wait to play these and also do some of the challenges that we have, which by the way, they're only gonna be available for the downtown area of Verdansk. And the three different challenges that we have also kind of carry that 80s themed action movie 
movies of the season three reloaded so yeah very very cool and again the three challenges that we have can only be found inside of the tower of the downtown district and again these challenges are defuse a c4 explosive stop an arms deal that is happening and then break into the vault in the plaza we also have two new weapons coming to warzone the first one is the ballistic knife which can now be found as ground loot and then we also have the crossbow with the explosive tip that can be bought at a buy station as a kill streak so very very cool stuff there the crossbow does kind of i guess you know play a theme towards the rambo movie and yeah i really do like that a whole lot and lastly guys we do have a new ltm called power grab and the description says battle royales were already intense action movie worthy matches within warzone but what if the intensity was dialed up to a true hollywood extremes you would get power grab a limited time mode that pits over 100 operators across select squad sizes in a battle for a true badass protagonist supremacy in power grab operators will find that the starting circle collapse is smaller than in a traditional battle royale in verdance and the circle collapse will have five stages and there is no gulag to escape from your upon death instead you must have to revive your squad mates via the buy station or earn the right to receive them by collecting a dog tag similar to kill confirmed in traditional multiplayer every operator will drop a dog tag each time they are eliminated and these dog tags can be also found as rewards for completing contracts as in rare cases they can be found in supply boxes around verdance but each dog tag that's collected brings you up one notch to a reward ladder which is visible on the right side of your hud display now the rewards inside of the reward ladder include a uav a respawn token which again allows you to infill into verdance once again the advanced gas mask and then a specialist bonus at a higher tier so yeah very very cool ltm that we have here i'm definitely going to be having gameplay of this new mode and yeah it sounds like a lot of fun i cannot wait to try it out but despite these differences compared to a traditional battle royale the end game is the same be the last squad standing to win the game so that's the new ltm we have here coming to warzone battle royale and yeah guys this is everything we have for the warzone season 3 reloaded again the update's going to be coming out on the 19th or the 20th of this week so make sure you get your rest in because it's just right around the corner guys but please tell me your thoughts about this down below in the comments what are your thoughts about the trailer personally again I thought it was so, so badass. Again, I think one of the best trailers that we've had so far for Modern Warfare, Black Ops, Cold War, slash Warzone. And yeah, again, please turn your thoughts, guys. Love you all so, so much. Have a great rest of the day. Till next time, I'll see you guys later. Maneuvering.